Okay. Can you see it? Everything's backwards on it, but it's Dickie's Barbecue Pit. That was some good ass food. So now we're heading back. We're going to back to the truck. And we're going to march on. So. Yeah, that tells you how good it was right there. My compliments to the chef. I'm not a real big fan of Texas, but I'll tell you what, brick bris brisket barbecue is the shit. So <clears throat> it's kind of weird. You think when I think of Texas, I think of like fucking mesquite, tumbleweeds, sandy areas, hot weather, and fucking longhorn cattle everywhere. I don't think of rain, but it's been raining since yesterday, and now it's all foggy. So, anyway, see, here we are. At Love's, it's my favorite truck stops. Although they'd be even better if they had um, uh, drivers' lounges, which they don't, and that kind of sucks. But anyway, this shout goes out to Dickie's Barbecue Pit. I'm putting this on my YouTube, and. I give you guys a thumbs up for some great food, and a thank you to uh, Nathan Morris for recommending it when I told him that I was going that there was a Dickie's barbecue pit. I was going to go to Carl's Jr. He told me to come to Dickie's because I wouldn't regret it. That sounded really dirty. Come to Dickie, you won't regret it. Sounds like I might have said that once or twice, probably to uh, a female when I've been drinking. And I might have. Anyway, that was a long time ago. That was the first time that I was nine years old. By the way, I've decided to jump on the liberal bandwagon. And I am no longer the age that I'm, eight, that I'm at. My driver's license might say it, but from now on, I identify as a nine-year-old child so I can eat free at Denny's from now on. <sighs> yeah, you can probably see right up my nostrils. Sorry, babe. If my, if my lovely Heather is watching, she's going to mention that. You can see right up into your nostrils because I always point the camera right up into my nose. <sighs> so, here we go.